Hi guys and welcome to my YouTube channel and today we're going to talk about this fabulous photograph of Tasha Rain. And as you can see I've styled it into some sort of swimming kind of wet t-shirt thing. So stay tuned, I'll tell you how I put the whole thing together and some extra pointers and tips so that you can go out and do a fabulous shot just like I have. So today we're going to talk about styling. <music> So welcome back. So how did I get this fabulous shot? Well, Tasha and I were talking about uh, shooting some new content for her website. Now her website is a members only, so they're expecting her to be nude. Now, nude photographs of girls are fine, but to make it a little bit more exciting and enticing, you wanna do some sort of strip tease. So one of the things I was thinking about was using a wet t-shirt. Now we've all seen wet t-shirts, uh, nothing special about that. But I wanted to do something that had a little sort of extra look to it. Give it some kind of pizzazz. And the way to do that is to work with your styling. So the first thing I came up with was how was I going to use a wet t-shirt? Now we've all seen regular wet t-shirts. So I thought why don't I get a sleeveless t-shirt and sew it at the bottom. This is the bottom part. I sewed it right here. And as you can see in the picture, it is looking more like it's a one-piece swimsuit, a kind of an old-fashioned swimsuit. Now, I will tell you about t-shirts. T-shirts don't soak up water when you first buy them. So what you should do is you should put them through the washing machine a couple of times so that they become more absorbent and they're a little more worn. That way, when you get the t-shirt wet on the skin, it sticks to the skin and looks a little bit transparent and becomes more sexy. Now, the other tip is make sure your model has got a lot of baby oil over her skin so that when the water is sprayed onto her skin, it beads up, looks nice and shiny, and it's sexy. So that was the thing I was gonna do with the t-shirt. Now, in order to make it look glamorous, if you wanna call it that, I added this swim cap, a nice pink swim cap. And you can see in my photographs how the swim cap works on the model. So we've got the swim cap, We've got the swimsuit, we're gonna get it wet, we're gonna have the body nice and shiny. So the next thing is what I'm gonna do with the background. As you can see in the background, I have this striped, decayed kind of looking thing. It's sort of aged down, and that's exactly what I did, was I went and got a canvas, painted it with cream color as the basis color, then I taped off my lines and put the lines down it to give it that illusion that it might be a striped tent. And by aging it down, I give it that sort of antique look which made it a little bit more interesting. So what we've got in the background is we've got this vintage looking changing tent. And then last but not least, I added the stall, as you can see here, in for the model to work with. So with the stall that I had in the picture, it also pulls the whole thing together. And as I said in a couple of my other videos, that you need to find things that models can interact with. And there's nothing more easier than a stall. She can sit on it, she can crouch on it, she can lean on it, she can do various other different things with it. So I think that was an added extra thing I needed in my set. In the process of shooting these shots, obviously she's stripping off slowly, revealing her naked body underneath the wet t-shirt. So that's what we did, was we put the whole thing together like that, we did the strip tease, I took the whole set and put it outside underneath an awning so I would get some of the light peeking through the gaps of the awning that was up above. And because we're under this awning, it's very diffuse light. So I needed some stronger light to bounce back in again. So I used my ring light and set it up to shoot directly at the model. Now, the beautiful thing about a ring light is it goes around the lens. So no matter where you're pointing the camera, the light is always direct at the model. And I think you can see here, it looks absolutely fabulous. So what I did was I balanced the natural soft daylight that was happening in the open shade where my set was set up outside and the light coming in from the slats up above sort of pitter patted over the model and gave me sort of a, a natural looking scene. And then the main light, which was my ring light on my camera and popped it up a little bit more and gave me the exposure that I wanted. So I balanced all those twos together. I started working with the model during the whole strip tease process and as you can see I think we ended up with a really really great shot. So those are my tips. My tips are work on your styling. Don't just think about just shooting a girl and make something happen just because you happen to be there at the right place at the right time. Sort of create your photograph. Now that's the secret to being a professional photographer is to set your shot up execute it, make it happen, and end up with a really great photograph like this. Okay, well, if you like that story, you might want to pop over to my website, andrefelixphoto.com, where you can check out my blog. I've got lots of interesting things on there and some great photographs that might inspire you to go out and do something of your own. Now, I also have a PDF of a book 
tips and tricks that you can download. I've got Playboy Playmate Arena Vornina on the cover, and I'll tell you how I also made that shot happen. You can follow me on Instagram, check out what I'm doing. So if you've subscribed to my channel, thank you very much. If you haven't, I think it's about time you subscribed. Leave me a message, leave me a note, leave me a comment, hit that bell, whatever it is that they say you have to do, just go ahead and do it so I can keep rolling along with these stories behind my pictures. So all I can say is thanks a lot and bye for now. Thank you.